Hi everyone. In this screencast, I want to show you how you can add points and um, locations to the wonderful Transform Map project. So, um, just briefly, what is Transform Map? Um, it's a, it's a very it's a very a really great initiative, um, an open source project that aims at mapping and showing visualizing all social technical initiatives that um, contribute in some ways um, to the sustainability transition. And um, th th there might be plenty of these projects that started to, to, to map in a certain domain, for example, on food, and they start mapping food initiatives. And another one uh, starts to map um, fab labs, for example. But um, I mean, this just doubles efforts and transform map tries to integrate them all into one map um, with um, an open source and transparent uh, taxonomy to which everyone can contribute. So that was briefly on what it is. And so, so if you want to check out the maps, um, go to transformmap.co and then scrolling down on the website, you will see different maps so far, which is the green map, the political map, the regional map and the organic map. And before starting to add a pointer um, or like a location to, to, to the map, well, first of all, you need to think, what do I actually want to add and, and to which map does it fit best? For example, I, I just selected a regional map to have a look at it. Um, so here we see, this is like based on OpenStreetMap on the OpenStreetMap engine. And this, I have no idea why, it's, it, why the map is showing me Graz um, because I'm not based in Graz, but anyways, so you see these um, points and they actually stand for um, for initiatives. Like, and then if you want more information, you just click on them and you see what it actually is about. This is a restaurant, as you can see, a restaurant, and it shows a location, opening hours. That's all from the taxonomy, these fields. Um, this one is a cafe, as you can see. Um, uh, remember, like we're on the regional map now. Again, a cafe. Um, so it's it's all about projects that sort of initiatives that sort of support a regional um, development towards a sustainable state. Right. So the thing I actually want to add now um, in in my city. So I would I want I want to go to my city. So I click on on jump to my location, and I'm based in Karlsruhe and. Um, I want to add something which is sort of um, located somewhere. Can I find it now quickly? Um, it's somewhere here, I would say. Um, and 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 so the the way you usually well you then add things is first you have a look. Does it already exist? Um, on the first glance, I see this no. Um, no indication that there's anything added in that area. And what you then do is you need to get to this um, site, probably by Googling, which tools are available for mapping. It's on the forum of transformmap.co. And there you find the link to the online forum for the semantic wiki. And that's, at least for me personally, the easiest way to add um, a location. So first, what you need to do is you need to create an account. Um, I already created my account. Um, if you haven't created one, uh, what you will probably see, I just open it um, in, a, in an empty browser. So you would need to create an account first. Uh, just easy, like you fill in your username and um, give yourself an email and you receive a confirmation email that you need to um, that you need to click in and, and then you, your account is created. Um, and then, you so what I would like to do is then I, I create my my point and it's a public book shelf um, in in this area public bookshelf in this area is called Grünwinkel so I add Grünwinkel I create it, click on create so and now I'm presented with that semantic wiki form and first I need to decide well what what kind of um, location is it what what type well, there's many, and um, the preference is to to use one one which is already existing, and, and 
not just create a new one. I would like the, the idea behind a public picture, a bookshelf in my case is that, you know, you can just barter and, and trade books for free. You can just leave a book and someone else can take it. So it's, it's like a, this is German, but it's, it's, it like means a, a free shop. So like where everything is for free. I don't, I can't, I, I cannot provide a URL in my case. I, there's no, information on the internet. If you have any information on your project initiative on the internet, just at the URL, there is no real contact URL. So there's nobody to contact, at least I, I'm not aware of. So, and now comes the tricky point, the location. Um, what, what I did was, so I, I just went on Google maps for now because that's the most intuitive for me. And, um, I remember that at this location, there was something, um, which is very, kind of which, which, yeah, stuck in my mind. And that's um, a drugstore called DM. And I would search for it in Greenwinkel, just to get an indication for the address. And um, then I scroll in and indeed it was, so the location of the store is here. Um, and that's apparently this street. So I could use that street, but the, the gift shelf, uh, the bookshelf is actually here at the corner. Um, but roughly uh, what I would do is I go back and I say, okay, this is the street and it looks up the coordinates and it, it's more or less where it's supposed to be. So it should be here. And unfortunately, I cannot really drag this point. That would be really cool to just drag it, um, which I cannot. But so it has a coordinate. Maybe I could try, let's say I take another number, look up coordinates. Now, that's, I hope that by using a low number, I would just get up here. Um, so as you can see, well, that's a bit of experimentation to get to the right address, especially for, for initiatives that, that don't belong or that are not, um, yeah, sort of based in a certain building. That's that's more tricky. Um, so that's maybe something to, to be improved. And um, and then I would say, okay, this is the address um, to use here. I would maybe say um, Zeppelinstraße and then corner Durmasheimer Straße. And then that's exactly this corner here between these two streets. That's actually um, the place I'm referring to. And then there's many other fields, depending on the thing you want to add. This might be relevant or not for me. Status is not really relevant. Opening hours, mm, not really relevant. It provides objects of utility, the books. It's the topics. Mm, what kind of topic is it? Do we have any topics? What is it? Uh, topics on which this project focuses on. Right, so in my case, it's book sharing, I would say. There we go. It's kind of a tag. What well, the mode of interaction is bartering because it's just for free. Um, or maybe maybe it's also gifting, actually, because I can also just leave something um, without taking anything. Well, the network, it doesn't really belong to any network, at least not that I'm aware of. It might be added by someone else later on if he sees the point. Um, Communities, I'm not sure. I would probably say solidarity economy of the commons, but since I'm not sure, I would just leave it. And then in the end, I just provide a summary um, and here something, um, a comment, and that's it. And someone then, the, the moderator will receive this and can decide, mm, is that worth adding? Or maybe it just needs some adjustments. Okay, um, as you can see, I'm approaching the free limit for recording. Um, so if you have any questions about that, we I'm happy to discuss that. And, and yeah, see you, see you soon. <laughs>